Today, I just want to have an honest conversation. This is my seventh video of this new series, Chasing Entrepreneurship. I haven't really explained why it's called that. So the reason this is called Chasing Entrepreneurship is because I've worked many jobs throughout my life. I started working when I was young, probably around the age of 12, 13. I've worked little jobs here and there up to full-time jobs. And I've never been fully comfortable working for someone. Now I know that everyone feels that way at times. You don't really want to work for someone. But I've been exposed to so many pieces of information about how you can work for yourself that I feel I'd be doing myself a disservice not to try. And that's kind of what's got me to where I am today. I consume a lot of personal development and self-development content, or I used to, and that led me in the direction of really pursuing my fitness in terms of expanding my knowledge, increasing my awareness, and constantly trying to learn, not just being okay with what I already know. And that's why I've set myself the goal to become a fitness expert. That's why I've set up Flex Fitness. I know that right now as it stands, there are people out there who provide more knowledge than I can. I don't believe they provide more care than I do. I truly care for people when I'm trying to help them. At the same time, something I feel like I have over them is my willingness to continue to learn. I feel like you see it all the time. There's this plateau that people hit, but it's a plateau that generates success, so they're fine with it. And I don't feel like I ever want to find that plateau because there's always going to be new information that comes out that will change the perspective from what people thought was true to what is now proven to be true. What you see today of Flex Fitness is only the beginning. I'm at the beginning of my learning journey of where I'm going to be as an expert in the industry. Now how this applies to my current situation is due to the fact that I was living at home and my parents sold the house, meaning I had nowhere to live. I had to find a way to make my own income so I could survive. Now normally people would just go find a job, but being in that environment before, it's it's honestly squashed my passion. And at the end of the day, to me, life is more about what you're passionate about than earning money. And that's a crazy mindset to have because you need money to survive. That's the way the world is set up and I fully understand this. And obviously I'm working towards generating enough income to survive, but that's not my driving force. I'm sure you've all heard the phrase, money is the byproduct of success. And my goal is to be successful not rich. So where I find the struggles at the moment where I'm at is you've probably heard me say about managing my own income that I'm generating but at the same time I've also mentioned getting a side job. I still know that I need that money so yes I'm going to have to work and that to me is a temporary thing. I'm working on my own product development so that I can continue to put things out there for people so that I don't have to work for a long period of time but until that time I'm going to have to work and that's really tough for me to swallow because passion can get you lost sometimes and passion can tell you how things are going to go and how quickly you're going to achieve success when realistically that's not the case. I know that I've shown in this vlog situation so far about the beautiful skies and the water and the beaches and everything when it comes to living here but that's not the reality of the situation you're seeing one two three four maybe five minutes of my entire day when like today I've spent hours pounding the streets going door to door into restaurants bars shops anything I could find trying to find work and I was unsuccessful and that's that's the reality of the situation that's that's where I stand at the moment so the struggle really for me is dividing my time up where where I, I talk about sitting at home doing work which I'm doing but at the same time I need to balance my time where I'm out there looking for work because 
without that base income, I can't survive. What I feel is going to be really important throughout this is that I do actually share how I'm feeling throughout it because I know that maybe you, you're not the type of person who wants to start your own business, but I know as someone who does that it's invaluable having content out there from other people doing the same thing and seeing what they go through because it gets to show you what is truly going on behind the scenes because it's great seeing businesses that within five years a million pound businesses but at the same time most of them don't do that and most people struggle and struggle for many many years before they achieve success but they still achieve that success so I want to document how this journey really goes so if there's anyone out there who wants to do the same thing that I'm doing they can get a true insight to how it really feels the reality of it but at the same time can be inspired that just because it's hard it's not impossible I just want to make sure that as real as this conversation is that you understand that I'm more motivated than ever and I'm struggling more than ever but at the same time I'm the happiest I've ever been working day in and day out for myself and putting in hour after hour after hour of work into something that has very minimal return has never felt so good and that's strange to say but it's true I'll make an Instagram post and get four likes but that means more to me than when I used to post pictures of my abs years ago and get 200 likes because the information I'm posting now is useful as my audience the only thing I ask of you is that if you're entertained if you learn anything if you're genuinely interested in what I'm doing in any way I ask that you share this content for other people because just how you might be invested in it in some way or another someone you know may also be invested and this is a really cliche statement but one of your friends, one of your family members, one of your co-workers might be my next client and that would really help me out and as much as I don't want it to come across that I'm pleading for your support or for you to share me or market me in any kind of way I'm trying to survive on my own and this this is an honest conversation so I'm gonna leave it here I'm just gonna say again please if you find this in any way entertaining useful you can learn from it share it to anyone that you think might also find those things I have below a link to Niall's channel because he's got his own perspective on this entire journey in Spain. I also have a link below for Saigu and Flex Fitness. If you're interested in learning anything to do with fitness, contact me. I'll, leave, I'll tell you what, I'll leave my email address below as well so you can directly email me. At the end of the day, my business is helping people. So don't ever be afraid to ask anything. If you want to give your support please hit that like button drop a comment below i'd love to meet any of you guys have a conversation but i've rambled for long enough <laughs> thank you for sticking with me if you've made it all the way to the end as i said this is just an honest conversation <laughs>